Welcome at this point in time, number five, and first deck. Three cards. Eight of Pentacles. The Sun. The Chariot. Influencing energy. The Tower. I'm gonna pair it quickly and then comment on it. Eight of Pentacles with the Hung Man. The Sun with Temperance. The Chariot with Queen of Swords. The Tower with the Fool. Lots of majors for you at this point in time. Look, this moment of time isn't your happy time, let me tell you. This, I mean, um, you are concentrated on your work. There is work very important and you are doing it, but you're not happy with that. You, are, you would like something else. You are bored with that. You kind of, you are doing it just because there is routine, just because you have to have money to buy food. That's what is right now. You would like something else. You are expecting something else. You want to change. You want to change. That's what you have. That's what you do. You are doing it. It's not that you're going to stop. You have to, as I said, feed yourself. But it's not what fulfills you, what makes you happy. There is no happiness in here. And even if something was showing itself as a happiness, you didn't acknowledge it. You kind of, you were sort of depressed. Like from earlier on, this combination of fall and the tower, it indicates even violence. Uh, it, it indicates that you didn't know what to do with yourself. Such uh, psychotic moments, that confrontational emotions that you did have, that burst, that explodes out of you, strikes violently around. That was kind of earlier on that you couldn't contain yourself acting like crazy around that kind of that what was and then and then you did contain yourself but then then you went to another extreme you made yourself so contained you almost closed down yourself completely from one extreme into another so things with the sun card says there was good life there was family there was children there was something happy there there was you tried not to see it. You kind of ignoring on purpose. Kind of, it's not for me. And yeah, you just enjoy. Have a good time. I'll be on my own. You see what I'm saying? It's not that you didn't see. It's not that you couldn't. You didn't want. Kind of from one extreme into another. From acting like maniac, like crazy, violent person into depressed, quiet, victim type person. You see what I'm saying? Now. Right now, with Eight of Pentacles, it's kind of you are back to your, I don't know, daily routine, which doesn't make you happy. Of course, you are expecting something for yourself, but you are doing your job diligently, okay? You will go to work, wake up 5 o'clock in the morning, make your bed, brush your teeth, go to work, come back home, eat your supper, go to bed. That is kind of moment in here, and you won't give up on it, okay? Because you feel that you have to do it at this moment. It is at this moment in time that's your, um, that's your safety that's your security that's your routine that routine is where you're supposed to stay because you are expecting something else you want something else for yourself and perhaps timing with the hungman is somewhere around october okay so maybe around october you can expect this enlightenment that you will know where from here should you change your routine what are you going to do now to make your life a bit easier a bit more fun a bit more happier not just work and work and and work again you see what i'm saying you want something else for yourself and as i said october month could be time of enlightenment for you what is coming for you what will be born out of this time is your clarity, your clear goal, your prosperity, your winning situation, your competitive self will, will be born. You will be kind of reborn out of all this madness and extremes. Some sort of extremes you did go through, but you will find your directions. There's clarity with Queen of Swords, clear directions for you. And this one does have direction as well. The chariot energy does have clear goal. It is very competitive. It's want to show itself. 
out of this energy now very soon you will say to others and to yourself you will see me you will see what I can and you can you've got your skill you've got your knowledge yes you can you can easily achieve your goal you will be there you'll have your clarity what is your goal that you can achieve and prove yourself and stand on a throne and people will see you and applaud to you you see what I'm saying you will be visible and acknowledged as successful person it will be out of this period carry on working diligently it will pay off you will find your clarity you'll find your enlightenment maybe you are learning something at this point of time that's also learning lesson after lesson book after book that's also learning and once you know you everything you finish this course and you know that skill you master that skill you can be very prosperous could also be something like that with this energy but prosperity clear goal is there for you you, you will definitely be successful with that what you are doing right now that's good skill that will be good knowledge will be very useful for you stay course don't lose it it will pay off second deck three cards of course at this point of time ace of wands queen of swords Judgment, Page of Cups, I'm going to pay them first and then I'm going to comment on it, Ace of Wands, Five of Swords, Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, Judgment, Ace of Cups, your influencing energy is Six of Pentacles, right now, at this point in time, you do have opportunity that is something that appear right now look at it go for it somehow it will make you feel bitter because finally that you did have that you did get your opportunity you're gonna turn to people and tell them I told you so I will manage eventually you lose it I got it I got this job I got this opportunity I got something for myself you will be bitter and mean towards other people you're gonna call them losers you will feel that you are winning finally maybe okay maybe you felt that you are down for a prolonged period of time and then once opportunity came your way you feel like not to brag but to humiliate others who didn't get that opportunity it's not a really honorable emotion five of swords but anyway it is important that you do have that opportunity and you're supposed to grab that with both hands you did have clarity from earlier on somebody who is a Gemini Libra or Aquarius person maybe your mother maybe whoever your boss whoever there is somebody did advise you go this way do this do what I told you to do this is good way and those were clever words that was intelligent that was factual that was logical that was truth okay that what this person was telling you who Whoever that is, somebody really cared about you, mother, friend, sister, doesn't matter, father even. You, you see what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. It's important that somebody was telling you, giving you directions, advising you, learn this, do this, go for this. And you didn't wanna, you just didn't wanna hear it. You didn't want you didn't wanna receive that advice. It was good advice. You didn't want it. It seems to me that you got it on yourself, on your own. Once you got this opportunity, you might be actually turning to, towards this person and tell, I told you I can do it on my own. I can do it by myself. I don't need to listen to you and your advice. You see what I'm saying? Some bitter energy is here. You didn't want to hear that advice. Yet advice was good. Even so, you are managing yourself. You do have good opportunity, good idea. Is there any you can go for it it's still just an idea but it can be implemented it can be very prosperous for you and it's followed by ace of cups feeling good about yourself so that opportunity once you got decision once you make your decision once you make your judgment and you go for it you make decision to cut it to cut it firmly that past and that what is now because of the judgment is very much decision influenced by your past, by your past experiences, past 
thoughts, um, ideas, that decision will be very important and it will be based on that idea that you have right now at this point in time. That judgment, you will judge the situation and make decision. At that moment, you will feel that new life is opening for you and it will be happy that you did manage, that you can cut clearly your past and your future, that you can put that barrier between these two. Firm, clean cut between past and your future and you are on to it. It seems to me this point in time will be very important for you. Follow that idea that is burning bright in your head. That's your future. Think carefully. Judge the situation totally. And once you make, this, make your decision, it will be absolute, but you will see much of happiness for yourself in the future. At this point in time, third deck. Oops. Okay. Three cards for the third deck. Devil. The devil. Oh, these cards are flying. The magician. Ten of pentacles. Your influencing energy is Ace of Cups. I'm going to pay them first. The Devil with Knight of Pentacles. The Magician with Six of Swords. Ten of Pentacles with Three of Pentacles. Your influencing energy, Eight of Swords. Oh, there was time some time ago when you really felt stuck. You didn't know what to do with yourself. There was no way out. That's how you felt. And then opportunity came. Something that came with love. Maybe somebody, somebody who's uh, your love partner, somebody who's your good friend brought this opportunity for you, but definitely came with love and took you out of that prison, brought freedom to you with the love of friendship or any sort of, any kind of opportunity that came your way, something that's, that made you happy, brought freedom to you. And look, it, uh, it began already. Magician is just now, something that happened just now, just before. You are beginning something very important, something that seems very promising something that seems easy doable you do have everything that you need to do that what you want to do could be that is somebody else down there and I really feel that that it is perhaps your case that somebody brought this idea somebody who loves you okay somebody who cares about you brought this opportunity to you because you were stuck so badly so badly with yourself with the situation in your life Somebody brought mercy, somebody came towards you with love, helping you to get out of it. And yes, you felt easy. This person is working like a magician, does things for you easily, with pleasure, with love, with ease, like magic. Everything is like magic with this person. And things are going well and you are going towards this person, you trust this person, all your worries you did put away, all these thoughts, it's not anymore around you, just away from you, still there, but somebody else is taking care of things, this one has money, this one has idea, this one can do things for you, somebody was there who says, I can do it for you, everything that was your problem, this person was solving, magician, like magic, so easy. You trusted this person with your life, made your life so easy. No worries, easy life. Beautiful, eh? It was beautiful, it was easy. But then at this point in time, you do have devil. This magician turned into devil. Perhaps you did trust this person perhaps too much. You do feel chained now with this person that promised so much, that did for you so much. Yeah, this wasn't a joke. This person really did for you, invested something in you, invested, I don't know, maybe money, maybe time, did something for you, for real. And you are doing things, okay? You do have your goal. You feel that you are going towards something practical, something good, something that will, I don't know, bring you out there, that you can manifest yourself with your skill, with your knowledge, 
knowledge, with something, with your work, to get your money, to bring some success. You see what I'm saying? Knight of Pentacles, it's going forward, knowing every step of the way, what are you supposed to do and how to get that goal. But somebody else he is there who is organizing it, who is organizing and telling you every step of the way, what are you supposed to do? Nothing bad, end of the day, you will receive your money, you don't have to worry about anything, you are just following instructions and you're going and you will get your goal. Its problem is that you feel chained and dependent for that person. It will bring you money, it will bring you success, end of the day, you will get your goal, you will achieve that what you wanted to achieve. Perhaps this devil is nothing bad right now. You might feel trained, you might feel dependent, but it will bring successful completion, it will bring money, it will make you happy. There will be money for everybody. It's not just for you, but for these people as well. Perhaps these people saw your quality, saw the possibility to make money, to make some success, together with you, with that what you will do. Yet you couldn't organize yourself earlier on with your qualities. Somebody else did it. it. felt so exciting. Now feels very dependent, but it will bring success. It will bring you money. It will bring results. It will pay off end of the day. And for you, it will mean new opportunity. Three of Pentacles is feeling that you do have new opportunity. There will be skill that you did acquire. You will know, you will know how to move forward by yourself or with group of people, but then you will feel independent. There is excitement, there is happiness, there is enjoyment with this Three of Pentacles, enjoying doing things with these people, with this group of people, enjoy doing this job. Don't worry, at this point of time, follow instructions, do what you told, you will prosper with that. Enjoy it. At this point in time, deck number four, Three cards. Page of Cups. The Hangman. Four of Cups. Your influencing energy is the lovers. Let me just pay them quickly. So the so page of cups, yes. With ten of swords, the hangman, with a six of cups. Four of Cups with Four of Pentacles. The Lovers with Queen of Cups. There was a love relationship important for you, something that you loved to be in. You enjoyed to be with another person. That was your life. That was all that you wanted. That was all that you needed. That what it was. Somehow things changed. It was your past. You do remember. You did remember that it was good. That was good time. You kind of relied on another. That love, that support that you did have from your spouse, from another one another loved one was enough for you and you have very fond memories about that time. Those were days, okay, those were beautiful days and you didn't have that yet. You were waiting for something to happen in your life, just remembering what it was there where you were, waiting for something to happen, waiting for, I don't know, you didn't even know what you didn't even know what. You, you were just waiting for knowing, for uh, directions, for seeing what, where, where do I go? What do I need to know now? What is going to happen now? Because you lost it. Because that you lost, you are not a day anymore. That what you remember, that good times with another, where you didn't worry about anything. That love and happiness you did have earlier on, and you lost it. You've been waiting for quite some time to see, to know, to acknowledge something else. At this point of time, something else is there. Is there. It's very young energy, but it is romantic. It is that kind of teenager's energy when it's not certainty there with this one, with this energy that you feel, that you have around yourself. All is pretty much unknown, but it's romantic, but it's happy. It feels young, brings love, brings emotions all over you. 
brings promise for something beautiful and takes your worries away. Whatever your worries were, you did have perhaps lots of worries because there was nothing happening. There was nothing happening but waiting for something else to show up. And now is the moment Page of Cups showed up. Emotional, romantic, lovely, young energy is there around you will take your worries away. That's what you know. You are still paining, still paining. You still feel difficulties of this suspension, this difficult time of waiting of and not knowing it was difficult. But it's over. It's over. You do understand. You do have somebody else in your life or something else in your life that brings that emotions on the surface which are young and beautiful and they are promising happiness. The promise of happiness day with the page of cups right now takes your worries away four of cups and four of pentacles it's something that follows you will not be really happy it's it seems more exciting right now okay that offer that you receive that small things that small that romantic but very emotional more promise in it than real than real deal things but still it will take you out of this exhaustion of these worries that what is important and it seems to me it will be just that because that offer it will not be that what you are expecting you will always always compare whatever you receive in your life from now on you will compare with that what it was and that was exceptional now that what you receive right now, that offer, even so romantic, even emotional, even nice and young, it's not enough for you. It's not good enough for you. It's not that. It's not like that what you did have. It's not near that what you did have. That's your problem. That's your problem. You will always compare whatever comes your way with that what you did have. And you did have something exceptional. Careful with that. You might never find your happiness again if you always compare new things with that what it was. Particularly if it was perfect for you. But look, you will find your stability. It's okay. That will be like a bare minimum of that what you are expecting for yourself. Bare minimum. Will you even even consider taking that opportunity and that offer? Or you will be just happy with yourself, being by yourself, waiting for something better to come. Could very well be your nearest future. It's just like that. Yes, offer is here just in order to take you out of this horrible situation, horrible moment that you felt alone, exhausted, hurt, of waiting of everything that happened in your life. That offer will just do that, take you out of that state, of that difficult state of mind, the difficult state of being and nothing else after that. It will never be good enough to replace that what you did have. It's still good enough to take you out of that exhaustion, to bring you into this safe and stable moment for yourself, by yourself, okay? By yourself. Maybe lonely, but still safe. Waiting for something better to come your way.